My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. You are not gonna believe this. I'm, I'm not even gonna tell you because you're just not gonna believe me. Well, I'll tell you. This has 105 actual miles on it. 105, not 105,000 or not 1,005. 105 original miles. This car is all original condition except for the replacement battery. Still has the window stickers in the windows. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you can read the story and the specs. Look at over 100 pictures. That's where you find the prices on all 200 collector cars that we have for sale. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon to be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me and let's go for a spin. But we're going to go for a spin without putting any miles on it. Yeah, uh, the story goes, gentleman bought it brand new, drove it home, decided he didn't like it, didn't want it. Went back to the dealer the next day, asked for a refund. They told him no. So he parked the car and there it sat. Uh, 20 years ago, a gentleman bought it from the first owner, and, you know, knowing it 105 miles out. He literally parked it and took care of it, didn't use the car. Uh, he recently passed away. So it's a two owner car with 105 actual miles on it. Underneath the car is like you would expect. It's uh, got very light surface haze of rust on different components. It is not rotten. It's not flaky, pitted, scaly. Uh, it's actually really impressive considering it's all original. It's not been spray canned or touched up under there. It's original. You will still find tags like on the front springs. There's paper tags on the rear end. There's paint markings uh, from the factory on the rear end and on different components. Uh, it still has the original exhaust, the original muffler. Uh, it has disc brakes up front. So it is absolutely rock solid under there. Really, really clean survivor type condition, untouched. The body, very impressive. Some people would assume, well, it has 100 miles on it, it should be like brand new. No, it's still old, it's 40 something years old. Uh, cars, uh, the paint can crackle. I recently sold the Lincoln with 2,000 miles. The paint was all cracked. Uh, things happen in the garage. Things fall on it. Uh, stuff still happens. But this one here, it is practically like new. I'm looking down the side. I do not see a dimple, a door ding. There's zero rust. Uh, no one's ever hit the garage door when they backed out. No scrapes, no damage. Uh, everything fits beautifully. And the paint is still shiny. You know, again, low mile car, you might have all the paint is just oxidized and, and cracking. This is smooth and glossy. It even feels smooth. The original painted on pinstripe, not tape, is all here. It's never been worn off or buffed through. Uh, all the chrome, the handles, the moldings, like the little bit of black inside here. A lot of times that's just flaking off from age, but it's mint on this car. All the trim. Glass is crystal clear. All this is in beautiful shape. Uh, there's some little speckles on the chrome tail lights. I mean, tiny ones, but all the lenses, the trim, optional bumper guards, the V&H, that's the uh, Ford dealer it was sold at. Uh, new, we have the window sticker that says so. Optional side molding, has the rocker moldings. All the trim is shiny. These are the original Goodyear tires. We have the tag that has the actual serial number for each tire. I didn't go match it up, but these are the original tires. It's called the Landau edition. It has the Landau bar, vinyl top. It comes with cornering lights up front, uh, body moldings, a few different options as part of the Landau package, which is clearly listed on the window sticker right here. It is a 351 motor. Now up front here, this is all beautiful. The chrome, the grill, bumper, hood ornament, all that's in really nice shape. Now just like the underside, the motor compartment has never been spray canned or touched up. 
So like the hinges, these are not rotten rust. This is just surface rust, just from age. That's what you're going to find on a true survivor. Uh, paint markings, uh, stickers all over the place. It's all factory. Uh, 351 two barrel, complete air cleaner assembly, shroud, original hoses and clamps. Looks like they change a battery and one battery cable. This is the EPA mission sticker still in this window. The glass is crystal clear. Door jams are mint. The rubber is still soft. That's another thing that just happens from age. The rubber can get all hard and brittle and cracking. That's not on this car. All right, I unsnapped this before we started here. Uh, the brand new or the original spare tire has never been on the ground, never been out of the car. Still has the ink stamps on the tread. The jack is still shiny, never been out of the car. It has the optional liner kit, the whole carpeted kit, and behind it is uh, the clean gray spatter paint from the factory. The vinyl top. Someone did respray the vinyl top. They resprayed it tan, and there is some minor cracking in the vinyl where it's you know shrinking and just cracking apart. So it still looks really good, but this was re-dyed. Here's the original window sticker in the window. Uh, the interior is immaculate. I literally sat in there looking around, trying to find even the, the most minor flaw in the interior. And I found one. On the steering wheel, there's a hairline crack. Other than that, it's brand new. There's no stains, no odors. Low mile cars get critters living in them all the time. This one does not. There's no mouse nest. I haven't found any mouse poop, no smells. Uh, carpet's mint. Uh, seat belts are mint. Still has these old mats. They might be from the dealer. I don't know. Ashtrays never been used, the heater control panel, all the plastic trim, armrests, window cranks, everything is mint. Headliners not drooping down, uh, visors. Still has the starting instructions uh, on the visor. Weather strip back here is mint. Now this just snaps right back into place. I'll get the rest of the snaps later. The wiring, the latch, everything's like new. So there you have it. This is a true time capsule. This is going back in time. You know, hubcaps are mint. Not too often you'll find a car with this low of miles. And even if you do, I guarantee it will not be any better than this one. If you find a car with this low of miles that's this good a condition, that's extremely rare. But I can tell you there won't be a better one than this. Everything shuts like new. This one practically is like a new car still. So that's my impression. Oh, it also has the uh, glove box pouch. I have it in the office. There's pictures on our website. It has another copy of a window sticker, original literatures, you know, the manual, all the stuff that would come in that pouch uh, is, goes with the car. So there again, oh, this is the sticker, the temporary permit before he got the license plate when he bought the car new, still taped in the windshield. That's my impression. Volocars.com is where you can find uh, the salesman. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to discuss it with them. They'll help you the best they can. Uh, they can help with financing and delivery as well. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new one's posted. Thank you.